Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Aron Nincovic and Savili Tatakova. This extremely beautiful blitz game was played in Coburg in 1911. Nincovic had white pieces and he started with e4. Tatakova played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight to f6, white to move. Bishop to b5, the Spanish game. Let's take it back. A bishop to c4, then black may play, knight takes on e4, and after knight takes on e4, d5. Back to our game. Nitsovic played bishop to b5, so we have the Spanish game, four knights. And now bishop to b4, the double Spanish. Nitsovic castled king's side, black to move. Castling seems like a very natural move, but it was a blitz game and Tartakova played for a trick. He played knight to d4. Would you take the knight or the pawn? Nitsovic played knight takes knight on d4. If knight takes pawn, then bishop takes on c3, and after d takes on c3, knight takes on b5. Back to our game. Knight takes on d4, e takes on d4. Attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Nimtsovic played the best move and that is e5. Black dinner castle and opening files suits white. Pawn takes knight on c3. D takes on c3, bishop to e7, pawn takes knight, bishop takes pawn. The material is equal, but white stands better. Why? How? White to move and to play the obvious, and the obvious is rook to e1, check. King to f8, let's take it back. How about bishop to e7? If bishop to e7, then bishop to g5. And after f6, what happens then? Then bishop takes pawn. And after g takes on f6, queen to h5 check with a winning attack. Back to our game. King to f8 was played. Bishop to c4. d6. Queen to h5. Threatening checkmate. g6. Defending f7 square. Why to move and to play the obvious, and the obvious is bishop to h6, check. Black to move. Tartakova was choosing between bishop to g7 and king to g8. He played bishop to g7. Well, when he considered king to g8, he didn't like this variation. Are you ready to see variation which Tartakova wanted to avoid? The move is... Kaboom! Check! King takes bishop. Queen to d5 check. And after bishop to e6, queen takes bishop checkmate. Back to our game. That is why Tartakova played bishop to g7. Queen to f3, again threatening checkmate. Queen to d7. And now, black is threatening bishop takes bishop on h6. How should white continue? What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Are you ready to see the move? Are you sure you are ready? In a slow motion. Queen to f6. An amazing move, isn't it? What a mighty pin. Black to move. Rook to g8 was played. What's wrong with bishop takes on h6? Well, nothing much. It's just queen takes rook and it's checkmate. Back to our game. Rook to g8. Nintsovich played bishop takes on g7 check. Rook takes bishop. White to move. How would you continue now? White played the move. And black resigned and the move is bishop 
takes on f7, Tartakova resigned. If rook takes bishop, then queen to h8 checkmate. If queen takes on f7, then queen to d8 check, queen to e8 blocking, queen takes queen checkmate. Let's go back. What if black doesn't capture the bishop? Let's play b5. What happens then? Then discovered check. And again, white wins. For example, rook to f7, queen to h8, check, mate. That was a blitz masterpiece. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.